Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quentin here and welcome to tutorial number 26. And in this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about using a timer in JavaScript to change an image on our website, okay? So right now, I'm actually using all of the code from our previous tutorial where we had it that if I run this in Firefox, we have a Facebook image that is showing and when I click on it, it changes to the Twitter image and when I click on it again, it changes back to the Facebook image, okay? So I decided why not do the exact same thing but instead of having it that we have to click the image, we make it that the image changes by itself over time, okay? And that way it would look kind of like a rotating ad on a website. I'm sure most of you guys have all been to uh, web pages where they have like an ad or a banner that like uh, changes every couple seconds just to attract your eye uh, towards that area and then hopefully if it's an ad maybe you click on it or something like that. Okay so that's what we'll take a look at doing in this tutorial. So what I'll do now is I'm going to show you guys the syntax for the first method that we can use and that is called the set timeout method and the way you do that or the way you use that is uh, you'll type in this word set timeout but you're also going to give it some properties or some uh, arguments actually okay and the first argument is basically what JavaScript code do you want to run when this timer uh, reaches the time okay so you'll put in your code in here and then the second uh, argument you have to put in is basically how long you want the timer to wait before it executes this code okay so this is gonna be a time in milliseconds okay and uh, basically what that means is one second is 1000 milliseconds so that means that our timer will run after one second but uh, I don't want it to run after one second that's a little bit too fast so I'll just make it two seconds okay and what I'll do now is we need to put in some JavaScript code here but we already have code that changes our image on our website. It's over here. It's this function. So we can go ahead and instead of typing all this code in here, we can just call that function. So function change. Okay. And now what will happen is if we save this and go back to Firefox and click refresh, it starts off as a Facebook image and then and then it doesn't change and <laughs> the reason why is I made a typo so this method over here is not set term out it's a set time out okay now when I save this and I go back to Firefox and click refresh after two seconds the image changes okay so that's uh, that's pretty cool but now as you can see it's only changed once it's not changing again why is this not happening okay well that's because this set timeout method only happens once okay so what happens is this this I set when you use the set timeout method it occurs once it runs this code and it never happens again okay so if you want the time out or you want the timer to repeat and you want to keep changing the image then you can use this method called the set interval method and this takes the exact same arguments as the set timeout method uh, for exactly the same reasons except now it will repeat every two seconds because that's what I've put in here two seconds so if I put in 5000 then it would take five seconds to repeat okay but for now let's just keep that at two and we'll save this 
and go back to Firefox and click refresh and as you can see it changes and then it changes again and then it changes again but someone's texting me so let me go ahead and uh, read that okay so I'm back and uh, I told those idiots to stop texting me okay cool so uh, we've got this image now that changes every two seconds but if we want to be able to use more than one interval or more than one timeout on our web page we actually need to give these uh, set timeouts or set intervals a variable name so that we can work with them later okay so I'm just gonna call this one timer and we can set it equal to that okay so now we've got this variable here called timer and it's set equal to this timer now this doesn't actually change anything to our program just yet so if we refresh this every two seconds this image still is going to change but now if we ever get to a point in time where we decide hey I'd really like to stop this timer I don't want my image to carry on repeating well then what we can do is we can uh, clear that timer or clear that interval using the clear interval method okay and what this does is it will stop this interval from happening okay and the only argument needed in these parentheses here is the variable name of our timer or of our interval which I've called timer so we go ahead and we put that in there and what this does is it stops our timer from actually running but there's no point in uh, putting these two lines of code right next to each other because we kind of make a timer over here Oops, make a timer over here and then we go ahead and we clear it over here there's no point the timer is never gonna run so what I'm gonna do is just cut this out and instead we'll use that on an event in our web page so I'm gonna go ahead and on the click of my image instead of changing the image will tell the timer to stop okay and now when we save this and go back to Firefox click refresh as you can see the image is still changing and I'm not clicking on it yet but now when I do it's gonna stop so there we go you can see I've only clicked on it once and it's not changing anymore so that is how to clear an interval um, so once once you've made it and you decide well you want to clear it again then you can go ahead and just clear it like that okay so that's awesome and that's how to make an image that uh, basically rotates kind of like an ad um, but I should probably mention to you guys that as you can see right now the image is just changing it's not actually um, like fading in or fading out or doing any sort of weird effects like that okay if you want to be able to do that you guys need to learn something called jQuery and that is actually a JavaScript library so it's probably best if you know JavaScript first and then go on to learning that so that's what I'll probably do is I'll after I'm finished making my JavaScript series move on to making a series like that so as always guys thanks for watching and if you guys haven't subscribed go ahead and click that subscribe button below and if you found this video helpful comment and like on the like the video please guys it's really gonna help my channel grow and I will see you guys next time